Larry Mark asks, where would the BRICS be without the United States as the world's predominant power? I like that question a lot because it, it gets to the point that I try to make in the book, which is that we have a certain kind of world order that exists. And one aspect of this world order that the United States uh, really built with its allies after World War II is that we've enjoyed uh, unprecedented economic growth. Uh, before 1950, if you look at the whole expanse of history as far back as anybody can measure, uh, global GDP annually grew roughly from zero to one percent. Since 1950, global GDP has grown on average of four percent, which is, uh, you know, in terms of the great sweep of human history, absolutely unprecedented. And most of this growth has occurred outside uh, the transatlantic zone, outside the United States and outside Europe over this entire stretch of period. So what, what we see in the BRICS, which uh, I think these days might be better referred to as the BICS because I'm not so sure about Russia's future, but in terms of Brazil and India and South Africa, and you might add Turkey as well, uh, they have benefited enormously from an international order that has an open economic system that allows them to trade uh, with the United States and with other powers. Uh, and they're not, they don't have to spend a lot of money on their defense, by the way, because the, the international security order has been generally upheld by the United States. So I think it's a very good question because it points to the degree to which this order that the United States has created has been beneficial to so many people. Uh, and by the way, including China, uh, which has perhaps been the greatest beneficiary of this system.